Today we're going to be talking about six ways that you can hide your TV. Hi, my name is Sandy if you are new here and welcome back if you're coming back to my channel. On this channel we talk about all things interior design and I'm so happy that you're here with me. Your TV does not have to be an eyesore, there are ways to conceal it, make it fit in. So I am going to go over six ways that you can do it today. So the first way to conceal your TV is to get a TV that looks like artwork. This is really, really cool. I've seen it up close maybe once and I just, I had no idea it was television and that's the whole idea of it. But uh, a one brand that I'm familiar with is the Samsung Frame TV. That's not the only place, that's not the only brand that sells it. That's just one that I'm familiar with. I'm sure there are tons like it. But it's really cool because the TV will, um, kind of like how your your laptop has a screensaver mode, the TV has a screensaver, and it will be a work of art, anything that you want it to be. And you can make it look like other art in your house. And it, some of the TVs will have um, sensors and they'll be able to sense if it gets dark so the TV won't stay bright. It'll mute, it, the light on the TV will mute itself to kind of more blend in with the artwork, which is really, really cool. And it's seamless. Oh my gosh, you guys, it looks so, so good. Um, you can't even tell the TV's there and it's a great alternative. It is, however, very expensive. So that might not be for everyone, but if it's within your budget, I highly suggest doing that because it looks amazing. So the second way to hide your TV would just be to get a TV cabinet, which everyone's familiar with. They're super traditional and it's those big cabinets that you can just, you put the TV in and it, has, and it holds all the speakers and the DVDs and everything and then you can just close it and open it. And it just looks like a piece of furniture when everything is closed, but um, when you open it, you're, there you go. It's right there for everyone to watch and enjoy. The issue with TV cabinets is that, honestly, they're ugly. I don't think they look good. They're bulky. Um, the only time actually that they do look good, I can't say that they don't always look good, is with when your house is a style that goes with it and your, your own interior design style is something more traditional. So if you like a Georgian style or, or like heavy arts and craft furniture, even if you had like a Tudor style home and, and decor or anything like that, um, it would look really good because those are styles that have more heavy, massive pieces of furniture. So it would blend in because it would just be the style of the home. But if you like mid-century modern stuff and, or you like really, really minimalist stuff, it's not gonna look, you know, right? It's not gonna match up right. And they're just, they're just bulky. And also if you don't have a lot of space, it's not, it's not gonna work out. But if you do like one of those styles or if you do um, have a cabinet, some of them do come in the more contemporary looking styles and finishes with like brass legs or silver legs or that kind of thing and can be dressed up but they are kind of bulky and that's my main pause when choosing them for someone's home. So the third way you can hide your TV is you can have a t television in a like pop-up kind of credenza or a media console. So normally people will put their TV up um, above a, uh, a media console that will then hold all the DVDs and do people even have DVDs anymore or do people just stream everything? I don't know. I don't think I own any DVDs. Do I own any? Whatever. So the TV goes up above the media console and then you store everything in there. But there are media consoles where the literal television will fit inside of it like a like a pocket or like an envelope or something and then it, it's powered and then you would press a button or maybe it's with a remote and the TV will just rise up so TV is completely out of sight there could be artwork above it there could be a mirror above the console or the console could actually just be floating in the middle of the room sometimes people do that um, and it looks seamless you never know a TV's there and it doesn't make the TV the focal point because people struggle a lot with making their television or the fireplace the focal point, or if they have a really amazing window, should that be the focal point? So this is a really great way to make one focal point in your home and still have the TV there for when it's time to gather around and catch up on all your Netflix. So another way to hide your television would be to use sliding artwork. This is really cool and I don't see it a lot, but I think it's very, very doable. It's something that you can probably DIY um, and you don't always have to spend the big bucks on it. You basically get, um, you, mount, you mount your television. This works with a mounted television. I take basically 
panels, you can have beams or something behind it if you want to, to, use, to make the sliders. And the art, just like think of my face if it was a TV and it's like, peekaboo. <laughs> so you take the artwork and it slides open to reveal the TV or uh, slides closed to close it. So that way the focal point is just that artwork and there's not a big black screen that doesn't go with your color scheme or anything like that, but you can clearly very easily hide it and it's not particularly expensive. You can make the art yourself, you can get it from like Home Goods or Ross or whatever you wanna get your art, but just you, you wanna make sure that the artwork is large enough to cover the television. So the fifth way to hide your TV is in a gallery wall. This is not exactly hiding your TV, but it does make it look more cohesive and like it's part of something as opposed to just being like this clunky TV that's sitting there um, or mounted there. So if you're gonna put your TV on a wall, even if it's just sitting on a media console and not mounted to the wall, then maybe consider doing a giant gallery wall behind the TV. Normally people don't put a lot of artwork behind their TVs, but this way all the lines will be because the, the frames all have vertical and horizontal lines, and then all the vertical and horizontal lines of your, why do I keep doing this for vertical? That is horizontal, I'm, okay. So if your TV is gonna have vertical and horizontal lines, your artwork will also have vertical and horizontal lines. And then all the lines will blend together and it'll make the TV, even if it's not one of the frame artwork TVs that I talked about before, it'll make the TV just go more with the wall than if it was just sitting there with nothing behind it. And the last way to hide your TV is with curtains. So I don't see this one a lot, but I think it's really, really inexpensive. Just get some curtain rods, hang them off the wall a little bit, and you would get excessive curtains. So you wouldn't just cover the, the, um, the windows. You would get additional curtains that would slide in front of the TV. And you could have a whole curtained wall and it would be a look in your, in your house. And it would look very intentional because you don't want just you don't want to not have enough curtain to cover up the whole wall because that just won't that'll look like you're missing fabric or you ran out or something like that. You want it to all look seamless and you literally just slide the curtain back when you want to watch TV and slide the curtain forward. And I think it's a really great space saver for someone in a small space especially. It looks really good and also curtains help absorb sound a lot. So if you're gonna be entertaining and stuff, not conversational entertaining, not necessarily like watching TV kind of entertaining, it'll help um, your apartment not sound so loud and other things like that. And curtains are just pretty. It helps that you add a giant pop of color to your wall if you want to that you didn't have to paint, you didn't have to tape out the, the windows or anything or outlets or anything like that. And it just, it looks really good. So that's it for today's video, you guys. If you valued what you found here today, then please consider subscribing. All right, you're watching it, obviously you like it, you give it a thumbs up, and then subscribe, put a ring on it. That's, that's how you put a ring on it for me. I don't even need a real ring, just subscribe. And subscribing is significantly cheaper than buying me a ring. So, see, oh, you just did it. Took two seconds. Thanks for watching, bye.